County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher says this is about sending a message to the entire community that they are serious about reform. It's not about words, he says. Instead, it's about action. And so today, the Board of Supervisors will take up three different issues that are all aimed at equity. We need to show the community that we hear them, we understand, we recognize, and we acknowledge the problem is real. But recognizing and acknowledging the problem is real is not the same as actually changing things to address it. And what we are doing here is taking a step to make change. Clinicians, not law enforcement. So Fletcher's proposals include drastic changes to the Citizens Law Enforcement Review Board, which conducts investigations on citizen complaints of misconduct by sheriff's deputies and probation officers who are employed by the county. Now, currently, a complaint must be filed for an investigation to take place, but under Fletcher's plan, the board can investigate any incident on their own where a peace officer's weapon was fired or force was used, causing great bodily injury. The two other proposals include establishing a countywide office of equity and racial justice, which would work to make sure that underserved communities are more involved, especially when it comes to setting budgets. And the last proposal is the creation of a mobile crisis response team, which would send clinicians and other trained professionals to nonviolent behavioral health calls instead of what they do right now, which is to send deputies. The fact is law enforcement is not the appropriate response to someone experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis. Instead of law enforcement, it should be trained clinical professionals responding to the situation. Of course, the big question is always money. How are they going to pay for all this? In fact, creating that group that will go out and handle those mental health calls expected to cost about $10 million. So a lot of, dev a lot of details still need to be worked out, the devil in the details uh, for sure. Uh, the county is expected to take this up this afternoon, starting around 1 o'clock. They are expecting to have a lot of public comment, and there should be a lot of comments from supervisors as well.